Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nintendo Gamer. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Y. And in the last episode, we made it here to Snowbell City. And in today's episode, we're going to challenge the Snowbell City Gym. But, what's new, little blue? Fiddick, the new future champ. Hey, to this point, you put the gym leaders actually out right now. Seems off winding woods if you like searching. <clears throat> That's right, the gym leader is actually not here. He's off in winding woods. So you want to come down this way and go down this path and venture off into the woods to find him. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to repel up. No, oh, that's not repel, that's Pokemon. And I'm actually going to ignore all the trainers since I am quite over leveled. I'm probably way over leveled for, uh, for the gym leader. And on top of that, my Pokemon I have is probably going to destroy him in two. Because I'm going to use Monzilla for the duration of the fight. Mon's in, not to spoil anything or anything, but the gym leader is an ice type Pokemon user. So, Monzilla will have no problem going through his Pokemon or the trainers in there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not skipping these trainers just so I can get right through. It's just I don't want to keep get even more experience and be completely over leveled. And be OP as heck, because I really am already OP. So, it's my own little way of, you know, saying, okay, I don't need to fight anymore. Anyway, do you just follow the path I took and it should take you right to the gym leader? You know, you know what this place is. Welcome to the Pokemon Village. You know, this place is a secret, you know. Most of the Pokemon here are runaways, escaped from bad people who did awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to take care of Pokemon out there are out there. Some of these Pokemon, though, some of them are just strong and found they didn't find their place in the outside world. So they came here. Hmm, I see. Your Pokemon sure seem to think highly of you. You've had some good times together, haven't you? Ha! You can all come out now. This one's all right, blokes. I know why I see an Australian accent in him when, he, when this is all supposed to be French people. Sometimes I get worried and come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners, mate. We haven't even had a proper introduction yet. My name's Wolfric. I'm usually over at the gym in Snowbell City since I'm a gym leader. And I don't know what to do with this accent. I'll just go back to my normal voice. Let me guess. You want to challenge me? That's right. I thought so. Sorry to inconvenience you like this. I'll be waiting for you back at the gym then. Before before you come by, I think it would be if you, I think it would do you good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Now, what he what he says is half right. I must say, you want to come spend the, you want to spend time there, but now, as some people would say, is not the proper time. <coughs> End game. Anyway, so you want to come back later. So we're just going to go back to the gym for now, so we can go challenge him. And I went the wrong way, didn't I? How do I go? Oh, oh, Kral. Yeah, this place turns into a maze. Oh, yeah, use another repel. Wow, I got there. I got to him in one repel. Sweet. There we go. I think we go left. Oh, wait, did I go right first? Ah, I don't remember my way. Alright. There we go. We go up, not left or right. herp de derp and you pass by the little girl there. Or wait a minute, I think we were down. Yeah, we were down, not up. Yeah. Anyway, then we go down here so we don't actually bump into those girls. Alright, and then we just go back up. And around this tall grass, and we are out. Just like that, guys, we are back in Snowbell City. So now we can go take finally take on Wolfric. Oh, I don't need to use another repel now, because we're already back in the gym. So let's go, guys. Final gym time! So I must say, his gym is pretty neat. It all revolves around this huge room puzzle, where you step on a switch and it rotates, so you can go across these bridges. But before you can hit a switch, you have to fight a trainer, and there are four of them. They call me the Queen of the Ice Rink. Elsa? Is that you? No, I'm kidding. Do you wanna build up? Snorlax? No, I'm kidding. Imelda. Close enough. Imelda? Do you wanna build a snowman? Oh my gosh. Do you wanna burn a snowman? <laughs> 
That would be the title. Do you want to burn a snowman? <laughs> or maybe I'll keep it built so it's not so dark. Oh my gosh. Oh, a cloister. As you can see, guys, I am way over leveled. And I probably should not have used Fire Blast since it's so sparse in PP. And uh, it has a high chance of missing. So we're actually really lucky to get that Fire Blast back there. Oh my gosh, 62, man. We're OP! Alright, we defeated Imelda. Colder than cold, fast and fast. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have a lot of Frozen fans mad at me for that. Okay, I think we're actually good with this first spin. Yeah, we can go through this way. And we're gonna fight... This guy! Freeze, y'all! Freeze right there! Victor! Victor Kosikov! No, I'm kidding. I just made it up. Daddy Bird! I like Deli Bird. Deli Bird's cute, but worthless. I'm sorry. Monzilla's remembering sweet times of Thomas. Oh, Deli! Oh, Deli. Oh, Monzilla, you give me feels! Lol, but we gotta burn this Deli Bird first. Burn, baby, burn! This guy wouldn't burn, oh! Oh my gosh. Monzilla's gonna have so much. Oh, nice, you're leveled up. Monzilla's gonna have so much XP after this gym. This is probably gonna be like level 66 or something like that around there. Look at that, just spamming flamethrower. Flamethrower, all the things! Because we're so over leveled, we oco everything. Like a boss. Anna, yay, level 56. And we beat Victor. You're frozen, my heart solid. Gay! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. I'm just full of energy and jokes today, guys. Alright, now we gotta spin this around. Okay, that doesn't work. Um. Hmm. Nope, they didn't make. Alright. That works, but we can't get across from here. Oh, I think I know what I gotta do, actually. I think we have to do something over here and then go over there. Yes, I think this is what we need to do. Uh, hold on. Dem puzzles. Hold on. I think I have this somewhat right. No. Wrong. Wrong! No. Do I still have this completely wrong? Oh, nope, there we go. Now we can go across both of these. Like a boss! I like to cool down and clear my head with a refreshing chilled dessert. Here, let me give you a taste. Oh, that's a girl. What am I doing? I'm a very manly, manly girl. Alright, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Camera actually died. Oh, nope, screen. Work with me. Camera actually died on me there. I clipped it like the most perfect time ever. Go away. Let's fight the manly Shannon! <laughs> oh, Lord. I can, never, I can never pronounce that name. But, but let's burn it! Burn it to the ground! And crit. Pointless crit is pointless. And Greg grew to level 59. This is like the most boring thing ever. I'm literally just spamming flamethrower. <laughs> flamethrower! All the things! I feel so bad, man. Although, that's why I kind of picked Monzilla, because I like the fire starter of this generation. Ooh, Jinx. Still ugly. <laughs> Even in 3D! Oh, I spit it in 3 yes. Ah, my thumb is on fire! No, I'm kidding. Actually, actually, guys, just, I'm thinking of Pokemon in general, derp. I, uh, oh my god, I keep spitting on the screen. What is wrong with me? Ah, I'm sorry. Ah. But speaking of Pokemon in general, just reminded me of um, 
I know I'm really late to the party on this one. Um, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Hoenn confirmed, bitches! Lol. But, um, yeah, Hoenn has finally actually been officially confirmed, and it's going to be the, fir o I think, only and first remake to be in 3D. So, Hoenn fanboys rejoice! <laughs> oh, I'm excited for it. I'm kind of disappointed it's coming out in November. Just kind of hoping for like an, another October release for a Pokemon game, kind of like with X and Y. But um, I'm really excited for it in general. And then people are speculating that after uh, Omega Ruby, Omega Sapphire, then we'll get our Pokemon Z in around 2015 or 16. So that's cool. Ooh, Juvia 69. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. But um, that's what people are speculating. That'll be cool. So much Pokemon. Nintendo, be gentle. <laughs> Because, I mean, you've got Smash 3DS coming out in the summer. Then we've got Smash Wii U coming out in the winter. Hopefully around the same time as Pokemon Omega Ruby Omega Alpha Sapphire. So many awesome games coming out. And then on top of that, guys, we still have Nintendo going to announce stuff at E3. I think I'm about to explode. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can't contain my feels right now. All right. I uh, think we just need to move the green one now. Mm, nope. Nope, not on that side either. Okay. No, nope. All right. Um, is this it? Nope. Nope. Yet. There we go. I'm a genius. Wow, we didn't. We actually didn't even have to move the yellow one. The yellow one is the sun. All right, guys. Without further ado, we're gonna battle Wolfric. You know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means? Depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, I could be the most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's alright, that's how it should be. Anyway, enough of my rambling, let's get this show on the road. Damn! Top of the morning to you, laddies! If you get the YouTuber reference, you're good at That reminded me of it for a second, although the YouTuber doesn't slap his belly. And holy Obama snow! No, just kidding. It would be really cool if there's like a hard mode in the game where gym leaders could use megas. That would be cool. Because I'm pretty sure almost every gym leader has a mega on their team. Even I think the Elite Four as well. Hell, the uh, or actually, I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to spoil it. All I'll say is someone else in the game you will actually use a Mega on us besides Lissandre that we fought a while ago. Oh dang, there's hail. Can't touch me, son. Can't touch us. Even though the hail did. Uh, but um, I guess I'll just say there's only one more other one other person will fight that'll use Megas against us. Other than that, uh, actually two people counting after game. But uh, you actually don't fight any NPCs that use Megas. I think that would've been cool if there was like a a mode difficulty mode where the gym leaders used like Megas on you. I think that would've been cool. But sadly, like Wolfric mentioned, depending on the Pokemon we use. He could be a total pushover, and he, the only thing that's been hurting me... Oh! Oh, hit it! Oh, you jerk. Well, it doesn't matter. The burn is gonna kill you, my friend. I was gonna say, wow, it's Craig and old dabba Held on. And you're dead. <laughs> Thank you, Monzilla, for the burn. You are the best. And level 64. So I was off by two levels. whoop do freaking do But dang... Well, he was a pushover. <laughs> Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. It would get over 9,000 Poke Dollars. Impressive. Your Pokemon fought with great courage. I can tell you've trained your Pokemon well. I'll stop singing now. Thomas received the iceberg badge from Wolfric. You have fought. You. What you have right here is called the iceberg badge. As long as you have that. Any and all your Pokemon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best in battle. Let me give you this too. And with that we get TM13 Ice Beam. So if you have a water type Pokemon, I definitely suggest uh, teaching them this. On my X playthrough on my own time, I gave this to Greninja. My Greninja, he wasn't protein, 
But, uh, he wrecked dragon houses, son, with Ice Beam. You know what this is? It's Ice Beam! That move has 100% accuracy. Not only that, but every time, every once in a while, it'll freeze the target it hits too. I hope you've learned a valuable lesson today. Being rigid can make you tough, but it can also make you very fragile. I'm making up words, because I can't read. You better be, you better, you're better off being flexible. You know what I mean? Some people are fluid like water and can adapt to their environment without changing what's important on the insides. Not me, though. I guess I'm too stubborn. Maybe that's why I love ice types. And we get this awesome slidey bridge of fabulousness to slide across. And we get to see the awesomeness of his gym as we leave. There we guys. With that, we have conquered all the gym leaders in the Kalos region. There's the future champ I know and love. Looks like you triumphed all gym leaders. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength, am I right? Am I right? And since you're such a star, I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. I know, it looks like Wolfric's come out to tell us. You know what? You have all the gym badges now. So there's really only one thing left to do. It's time to head off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon. There's no limit to what you can achieve. So anyway, guys, with that, like I was trying to tell you guys, is that we've conquered every gym in Kalos. So we have every gym badge. So... We are done finding gym leaders. So next time, guys, on Pokemon X and Y, we're going to be taking on the Pokemon League. And beating the game. Well, I'll probably, like, do what most PokeTubers do. Do an Elite Four member a video. So the first Elite Four member video will be pretty long if I want to do the trip there and then start it off or just do a video on getting there. That's probably what I'll do, just do a video on getting there. But that means we only have one, two, three, four, five, five, six more videos of the main campaign left, guys. It's been an awesome ride so far, and we got six more awesome videos left. I hope it's six more videos. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode as I try to fix the camera, because I'm a derp. And if you did, feel free to like, comment, rate, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.